Hi everyone, welcome back to my Python course. This is lesson four, which will talk about lists in Python. A list allows you to store lots of different information in one place. They're extremely powerful in uh, Python. And this should bring together a lot of the principles that we discussed in earlier um, videos. So a list, like any list, is a sequence of values. Um, in Python, a list can have different types of values. They can be integers or strings or other data types. Um, the uh, values in a list in Python are often referred to as items or elements. Um, you can modify the list. You can add and remove. And you can remove from the middle. You can remove from the end. You can take the values from it. So there's a lot of really uh, important stuff that you can do with lists. Um, and that's what we're going to do in this course. So uh, let's get busy. The first thing we need to do is create a list. I've created one here of five popular computer games, just so you don't have to watch me type it out. But to create a list in Python, you need to you use the brackets and you separate each value with a comma. So if we run this, I'm commented, and run this test, we should print. And what I'm doing is I'm printing out uh, my list. So if I run that, I'll get the five items that are in my list. If I want to pick one of those items and not the entire list, I can use an index. So if I use index one, for example, I should get one item from the list, which I do. Key thing to note here is that the index starts at zero. So if you want to get the first item, you will put it a zero. Many uh, people make this mistake when we're looping through them in, in future videos. Um, if you don't uh, factor in that it begins with zero, you'll get a, an out of range error. So if we pick zero here, we should get the first item. Um, one thing that you can do if you want the last item is use minus one. This is Python's way of pulling the last item from the list. It's easy to change values in the list also. If we wanted to change the first value in the list to say roadblocks, we would um, type um, the index zero equal to roadblocks, which would be equal. And when we run our list, we should see roadblocks here on the first one. If we wanted to append um, roadblocks to the list instead of replacing fallout four, we would um, use the append function and type it this way. This would add. This is adding Roblox to the end of the list, and there you go. You can always delete items on the list by using the delete key, delete command. Sorry, uh, if you hit delete and the index number, we press that. This should delete the first item on the list, and as you can see, it does. In addition to the delete uh, function, you can also use pop, and what pop does is it removes the last item from the um, from the list. There's one thing to note about pop that uh, it it not alone does it delete the last item, but it you can save the item that you're deleting. So example, if you put uh, my variable, you could use that later um, down the road. So if we want to print, that will be the item that we delivered. So essentially it saves the item that you deleted and for later use. And this is important. As you can see, the last item was deleted here, Minecraft, but it was also printed in the second print, which is uh, my variable. And finally, we can remove items from a list by name as well <coughs> by using the uh, remove function. So for example, if I type my list remove, Hollow Knight, that will remove Hollow Knight from the list. You can also sort your list very easily by using the sort command. So if we type mylist.sort, um, that, that is a Python function that will sort a list. So now we have a fully sorted list of uh, games. Keep in mind when we use the sort function, it sorts the list permanently. Um, uh, so it cannot be reverted. This doesn't really apply here because in my program I'm running this list each time. So 
you're basically starting fresh each time. But if the program was continuing and you were accessing that, accessing that list for other purposes, it would be in its sorted form. The last thing I just want to show you about lists is how to get the length of a list. So we have here five items in the list. Let's say we didn't know how many items were in the list. We can always find out by using the len function, which is len, short for length, I presume. Um, and if we run that, it'll show us how many items are in the list. Keep in mind again that this starts from zero through four. It's not one to five. You can find out all the functions available uh, through Python for your list. If you just type the uh, name of your list and the period, and you'll see a list of functions that are built into uh, Python. We've discussed many of them, um, but there are many more. Um, so these are, are very useful. So that's it for this introduction to lists. We're going to talk about lists in the next lesson too. We're going to figure out how to loop through the list and do a little more with them. But this is the basic introduction. And in this course, you learn how to create a list and how to change the uh, values in a list and how to delete and add and, and uh, sort. So uh, in the next course, we'll get into looping and indentation, which is also very important for Python. So until then, see you soon.